Hi, I'm Alexandria from alexandriabarker.com and I just wanted to come on and say hello and just share some of this beautiful scenery. I'm out here at Lemoyne's Point in Kingston where I'm living for another week before I move into my dream house. Another video on that later. Today I was just inspired to share a story with you. I wanted to share um, because something just happened to me recently and I decided it could be a very teachable moment. So I was, uh, just in the background, I was pet sitting for my grand puppy, who was a little shih tzu, two year old shih tzu. And uh, he kind of took advantage of me not knowing the drill and went into a room he's not allowed to go into and stole one of my granddaughter's plush hair scrunchies. And uh, I didn't know he had gotten in there. I just saw him running around with this thing. So I connected with my daughter who was on a camping trip. And she said, no, that's not a toy. You gotta take that from him. So she's on the phone telling him to sit and stay. And she's telling me also just grab his jaw and take this thing. And uh, so in the process of trying to do that, he looked at me really defiantly. And then he just went gulp and swallowed this thing down. I couldn't believe it went in him it was so big i couldn't believe it went down it stayed down anyway so some panic ensued from that and we did some googling and talked to his vet and everything and got all the instructions so we knew everything we had to watch for and everything else and it took five days but that sucker came out and it didn't go out fortunately through his intestines and everything he actually threw it up five days later so phew so dodged that bullet but it just got me thinking about all the things that we tend to swallow. Um, you know, even just in daily life, daily relationships, I think especially for women, we're so conditioned to just accept things. We might have plans laid out and then someone will come along and something will change those plans and, and we have to just accept it, right? We just have to like, okay, I'll just swallow this. So I wanted to talk a little bit about swallowing toxicity, swallowing toxic thoughts, swallowing just kind of going, okay, I have to do this. I have to do this because someone else wants it. And so I just wanted to address that a little bit and just say, you know, that, that those toxic thoughts, or even you're maybe having them about yourself. Maybe you're like, you know, maybe you let your fitness slide a little bit over the summer, <laughs> like I did. <laughs> and now you may be having some toxic thoughts about, you know, that you let that happen. And now you have to work that much harder to get back where you were. Whatever it is, if it's a toxic thought, it's not meant to be in you any more than that scrunchie was meant to be in that puppy. And it's not going to, it's going to be damaging while it's sitting there. So, I mean, swallowing things like resentment, swallowing anger, swallowing any, any negative feelings like that. That's where disease comes from. You know, like it, it's, it's just your body trying to protect you, but those things lead to illnesses and they lead to bad feelings and they, they're going to come out, is my point. <laughs> they're going to come out one way or the other. And one way could do a little more damage the other way is not any more pleasant, perhaps, but it's got to come out. So I just really wanted to speak to the importance of speaking your truth. Now, I know there's a lot of star seeds out there following my material and my teachings, star seeds and other people who are just maybe feeling, feeling alone, uh, feeling they have to pretend to be someone that they're not, uh, pretending that they have to believe in or agree with certain ideas that may be held by the majority, particularly now and over the past couple of years, that they might just know intrinsically to be false, to be wrong, to be wrong for them at least, and, and yet feel penalized uh, if they voice this out loud because then they become the weirdo who's not complying or, you know, just this person who holds strange ideas. And I just really believe that if you're trying to fit in and you're you're squelching what you know to be true and I mean there's there's a fine line you need to be able to be discerning there's some people you're going to be able to speak freely with and others not and maybe you want to spend less time with those that you can't be yourself with but just to know we're here setting examples all of us right now all of us awakened 
individuals, we know there's a bigger picture and we know the importance of standing tall and being genuine and being who we truly are. And that just is going to get more and more and more important. So gathering in numbers is so important and you'll see them popping up. Maybe because it's on my radar, I'm seeing many more gatherings being publicized, light worker gatherings, you know, just coming together with like-minded people. And that is so important right now to be able to speak our minds, to be able to come together with others who may be holding a different perspective, maybe even a higher perspective of what we know to be true. I, I just did a retreat myself, just a, a two day retreat over the weekend, past weekend, and it just, oh, it was so magical. It just filled me with such joy and just opened my heart. And just to see so many people coming together, knowing that love is all there is and love is the answer. And that coming together as light beings, way showers, that's going to defeat any darkness. And speaking on a galactic level, speaking on the earth plane level, the light will win every time. So let that light out. Let it shine out. Let it come through your eyes. Let it sit in, in quiet contemplation or meditation and breathe that light into you and hold it in you and then let it out. You know, just to see it circling the globe and bringing that bringing your particular brand of love and light to the planet that is so needed at this time if it wasn't you wouldn't be here you came here to do that very thing so this is the time my friends this is the time to just really rejoice in being one of the awakened ones and not everybody is going to in your timeline they're going to in their own divine time they were going to wake up and realize and it doesn't make you better, you know, it doesn't make me better because I'm awake and someone else isn't. It just means, I, I just feel like that makes it even more important for me to speak my truth uh, with tact, with diplomacy, and again, choosing your moments. But the time to hide is gone. You know, that's so pre-COVID. <laughs> the time has come to really be strong and stand in your strength and know that you stand on the shoulders of giants and know that you have so much support. So call on your angels, you know, connect with other like-minded people. They're out there, they're all, all around you. And uh, so just, just do that and take heart and know that you're not alone. Call on your angels, they will be right there. I talk to mine all the time and they actually advise me to get that message out to everybody else. So just giving them permission to help you by just calling on them and, and inviting them into your life. So I just wanted to give one more quick, 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 quick. It's so pretty. Look how beautiful. I just want to go climb these trees. I'm in the wrong shoes, <laughs> so I won't. But it's so nice. It's kind of drizzly here, so I have the park all to myself. So it's just me and you. So I hope you found this uplifting and, uh, you know, please feel free to share <clears throat> and uh, share in the comments about what you're doing to, to keep solidifying this and, and encouraging this light to blossom in you. All right, big love. Talk soon. Bye for now.